Now, an amazing video classic. This is Harry Rakowski, a human resources director who lives a quiet life in Texas. But on a fateful October day in 1994, this mild-mannered citizen risked his life to save the leader of the free world. Washington, D.C. The sights and sounds of the nation's capital are being enjoyed by thousands of tourists. Among them is Harry Rakowski. I was going to do some sightseeing, so I had gone to the JFK Memorial, and, um, grabbed a bite to eat, and then I just kind of came across the White House. At that same moment, vacationers Shirley and Ken Egan are also admiring the White House. They're using a video camera to record their trip. It was a nice uh, morning. We decided to uh, take in all the sites of the, the White House and the, the Arlington Cemetery and all the monuments. But one of the visitors captured on Ken's home video isn't a sightseer. As the unsuspecting couple videotapes the first family's home, a terrifying sound rings out. A deranged gunman has opened fire on the White House. The man tries to reload, then suddenly... Harry tackles the shooter and pins him to the ground. Others quickly rush in to help. Watch again. Without warning, the man pulls a semi-automatic rifle from his overcoat and unleashes a barrage of gunfire. Fearing the man will turn his weapon on the crowd, Harry takes action. I had to tell my feet to move because I knew I had to get to him quickly. Harry slams the crazed man to the pavement and struggles to grab the gun. Incredibly, another tourist actually leaves his crying baby and runs to Harry's aid. The man knows that if the gunman regains control of his weapon, both he and his child will be in grave danger. Within seconds, Secret Service agents and police officers swarm the scene. The brave man who helped Harry bring down the gunman returns to his baby, who is safe and sound in her stroller. Although Harry has been injured by the muzzle of the rifle, no one has been shot. Thanks to Harry's act of heroism, the gunman's clip was knocked to the ground before he could reload. If he had got reloaded, I think he would have uh, probably shot the people that were standing on the sidewalk. The bullet-riddled walls of the White House are proof of the gunman's murderous intentions. Fortunately, the president was not in harm's way. The president and his family were never in any danger. And the president was upstairs in the residence watching a football game at the time. Officers later find a suicide note in the madman's pocket, declaring his wish to die in a hail of gunfire. The man is convicted of attempting to assassinate the president and sent to prison. Harry's courageous act earns him a medal of valor from the Secret Service and the eternal gratitude of those he risked his life to save. I believe that God had me in that place at that time for a purpose, and, and it was just uh, following through with, with what he had in mind.